I know you dealt with, with injury this season, but just what was it like being a part of this group in, in this season as a whole? It's been great, man. I mean, this team is special because of how young we are and how good we understand what we got to do to win. And we're just, you know, we're into that. What was it like for you just mentally dealing with the, the, the ups and downs of the injury that you, that you were dealing with? It's been pretty tough, but uh, I was inside the team a lot. You know, traveling with the team helped me a lot. The guys were you know, supportive, and I feel good. How's your knee? Feels good. Um, I'm going to take some time off after the season, then get back here, start working out. You know, I think uh, injury helped me understand what I got to do to be you know, what I got to do to make myself uh, ready every game. Was the timing of the injury especially frustrating given that you were probably playing the best basketball of your career? I mean, whenever you have an injury, either you play good or bad, it's frustrating. Um, I think I was trying just to keep myself calm and understand what I got to do to try and get back as fast as, fast as possible. What are some of the main things that you want to work on this offseason? Uh, every year is the same. Every summer is the same. I want to get stronger. Um, I want to try and be able to guard multiple positions. You know, This year I was on a five, and I have that like an option now. So wherever coach puts me, I want to be able to do the work. And what, what was the thing you missed the most when you were out? Being around the guys after the game, and even if it's a loss or a win, um, being in and playing with the guys, that's the thing that I miss the most. Where do you plan to spend most of the offseason? I'm going to be back and forth. I'm going to be here you know, for a long time working out. Um, I'm going to be back at home some. Uh, so you know, I'm going to try and take the best out of this summer. Serbia or Greece? It's, it's Serbia and Greece. Okay. Yeah, I'm going back and forth. It's pretty close with like an hour and 15 with a plane. So. What's it been like to play for Mark over the past couple of years? I mean, he's a, he's an unbelievable person, first of all. Like, if you're struggling, he's going to be there. Um, he's a great coach, obviously. There's, when you're, you know, a player of him, it's easy because he puts you in the right position. And you, the only thing you got to do is compete and play strong. How close did you get with Chet? To some, what, what does he like off the court? Oh, um, so you know, obviously he and I, we were injured for the most part of the season. Um, we got pretty close, and I can't wait to you know work out during the summer with him and start the season off. What is the most just about his game, and what he can bring to the table next season? His length and being able um, to compete. He's a guy that really wants to like play inside the team and help the team win. And he's, I'm sure he's going to do whatever he needs to do. Was it a tough adjustment to play more of the five this year? No. I mean, I haven't played a five before. It was pretty tough for me just to understand. Like, the preseason games helped me a lot. And the training camp, just understanding what I got to do on defense, like playing drop and then, uh, you know, have a feeling for that. But I think offensively, especially, like, playing with the guys that I play with, it's pretty easy. Koku, during your rookie season, you were one of the younger players in the league. You went to the Blue, came back to the Thunder. I just wanted to ask you about your evaluation of Usman Jang because he's been kind of in a similar boat this season. Yeah, I mean, he's young a lot, and he's a talented guy, a good guy. I think he's going to do great in this, you know, in this league. Um, I'm trying to just follow up with him, you know, here and there. Um, I think he's going to get better this summer. The only thing for him is just keep working and, you know, he's going to show up. What was it like being Shea's teammate and kind of seeing him progress and then you, know, you see him now go to the All-Star game and things like that? What I mean, it it's like? crazy that you think about the way he plays. He's still getting better and there's a lot of room that he can prove. And he knows that and he, he's the guy that stays last on the court every time and shoot the ball and keeps getting better. Um, I'm happy to have him, you know, we all are happy to have him in this organization. I'm sure he's gonna, you know, bring a lot, a lot to this team in the future. You came in, you didn't have an offseason after getting drafted. Then you have the shortest offseason in NBA history after that, and then that, then you have the uh, actual full long season offseason. How much of that <clears throat> was a benefit to you to just having that 
long extent all season? I think it helped me a lot, especially because I could understand the work I should put in. Um, just mentally being like into the right place and, and knowing that this and this is what you have to do to get better. And everything is controllable, so it's nothing crazy. You, know, you keep your head on and work, you just got to show up sometime. Which one do you prefer, the shorter or the longer? Obviously? Longer, so I can take my time off, you know, get some good food back home with my mom. Um, I think the off season is where the player gets better, you know, where the players are made. When talking about um, long off seasons, what is one part of your game that you want to see grow the most this off season? Playing off the catch and not just like being, you know, being able to shoot, of course, but like when you, you're able to shoot, people are going to close out to you more. So I want to be able to play, you know, with the ball, dribbling, getting to the rim more. And that's going to come with a physicality, but I'm just going to work on that too. So you were talking about uh, you have two homes, Serbia and Greece. Which one do you enjoy more? I enjoy both the same. Um, my family is in Serbia, my girlfriend is from Greece. Um, I've been in Greece for six years, a special place for me. So I, I enjoyed both of these places. How, how do you approach this off season and, and next season, knowing that you know it's already your fourth year and in, in the last year of your uh, rookie contract? The same as the last one. You know, I want to get better and want to be ready for the season. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. So when I get back here um, and we have a training camp, I want to be ready and you know, physically at the right place and mentally at the right place. Does it feel like it's gone by fast? I mean, you're still just 21. It's going so fast that I don't understand, like, how am I 21? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> is, the, is the extension, your, your extension eligible? Is that anything that's on your mind or are you just... I mean, the only thing I got to do um, is play basketball, enjoy it, and work hard. Uh, you know, this organization respects that. They show that, and you know they respect for who you are, and they recognize that. So I'm not worried about it at all. What's it like being part of such a young group? I mean, you're, you're all young players, kind of learning the NBA, growing together, growing kind of more cohesive it's every fun year. Because the people are like, you know, you you're gonna this team is gonna do this, this team is gonna go this way, and we are just you know keeping our heads down. Uh, listening to the people that are in the organizations because it showed like they're the best. And I think this thing is going to go you know, pretty far. What's your go-to meal back home? There are a lot of different meals, but my grandma is cooking pretty good. So whatever she cooks, there's some Serbian foods. Is there uh, anywhere around here even close that you can get Serbian food? I'm so sad, that, but no. <laughs> That's like probably the biggest challenge for me over here, like what, since the first year. What do you like here in Oklahoma? Like people, what? they're the best. Fans, people around the city. I mean, I haven't, I think, like, I've been around, the, you know, around states and I haven't seen better people. What about food-wise? What do you like here? Food-wise, steaks are pretty good. Um, there's some good steak houses. Um, but my girlfriend's here, so she's, you know, she's helping me out with the food. She's pretty good.